Hi everyone, it's Ashley with Modern Gardener and I am thrilled to announce Cynthia Stringham as our new host of Modern Gardener. I am so excited. I can't tell you, like secret dreaming of having a gardening show has always kind of been one of those things in the corner of my mind. I just love gardening. I love talking about it. I love doing it. I love dreaming of it. And so this is truly an exciting moment for awesome. me. Can you tell us a little bit about your gardening history? So I've always been gardening. My parents were big gardeners. My dad was a huge vegetable garden person. My mom loved the flowers and I just soaked it all in. Barefoot, all day long, out in the garden as a kid. Truly, I am thinking, working, or doing something in the garden on a daily basis. Come spring, it's a lot of work and that's like, kind of when I'm like, why do I do this to myself? Yeah. And then come summer, it's really maintaining every day. And then harvest time, it's one of those questions of like, why did I plant this much food? Yeah. But then come winter, we're eating from our garden and it's it's just yeah. great. So yeah, I don't think everybody needs to do it on the daily, but that's just what I live and breathe. Yeah. So. Well, we are so excited about this upcoming season of Modern Gardener. Me too. We got lots like, of good super episodes. Excited. Yeah. I think the great thing is, is that what I have learned is there's not one way to garden. There are so many ways to get that fresh yeah. tomato. There's so many ways to do a small garden or aquaponics garden. There's so yeah. many different ways to garden out there. And I am so excited to see what other people are doing, especially all the experts yeah. and all the amazing talent that there is out there. Yeah, and we have a really strong um, local gardening community here. So. Yeah, it's awesome. It's gonna be fantastic, especially because yeah. Utah's so unique. Yeah. I mean, there's so many different areas, different climates and, yeah. and soils in Utah. So there is a lot to be learned yeah. here. I told my husband, like, we have to have a big garden. This was my tradition growing up as a child, and I absolutely loved it. So this is kind of the workhorse garden. The front beds are kind of fun, beautiful. We squeeze some vegetables in between, but this is where we eat. Mm -hmm. So this is what provides us food all season and all, all year round. This year we did quite a few different structural changes. So we put up a fence around, I call it my Peter Rabbit fence. Uh -huh. We just found a bunch of sticks in the forest. We're like, well, I gotta have a grand entrance to my garden. So we built this. So I wanted all these tunnels. I wanted some high structures and uh, I grow some passion vine fruit that we will bring into the winter okay. and they needed a home. They've needed some structure for a while. Uh -huh. So I thought this is a perfect way. We'll put some archways here and pull those plants out so that they can bloom, cool. set some fruit and then come winter time, we pull them in and wow. come January, we actually are harvesting passion fruit in our house. Wow. I know, it's kind of crazy. Oh my gosh. So it's really weird, I know. So cool. you kind of have to juggle what is important to you. And this year for me, it was structure. Yeah. It wasn't getting my vegetables and having the first corn on July one. Uh -huh. We're gonna be okay. All right, here we are off the side of your driveway, and I love this garden bed because I think it's really inspiring for someone to just start small, just off the side of your driveway, but look at what you've developed it into. I mean, you literally use all the space you can to have a garden. Oh, I totally do. Well, what I love about this place is that it has totally evolved too, but it was nothing, it was barren. So when we first moved in, we used this as our squash bed. Okay. So we planted a bunch of squashes here, and planted these trees which were just tiny. So I've changed it where it's more, there's more perennials than most of my gardens. They're perennials that are kind of memorials to people that I love. So mm -hmm. this was a hydrangea bush from my mom's Aww. yard, some iris from a really good friend of mine, Aww. peonies that just remind me of people. So as they bloom, I am reminded of people that I love. So here we are in the front of your yard. This is like a very beautiful, showy, large garden bed you've developed here. I want people to see all the visuals of the flowers so that when people start walking by, not only do they smell it, but they visually see it. But I'm also, as you know, like a big foodie. Uh -huh. And so I keep my vegetables in here too. So I'll wedge in some radishes. Uh -huh. My artichokes do super well out here. Yeah. I have 
garlic down at this end. We get visitors from all sorts of bees here. We have the carpenter bees. Everybody comes. It's uh -huh. like buzzing, truly buzzing at like 6 p.m. at night. Thanks everyone. I'm so excited to be growing with you this season. I'm so excited to be learning all the new things and to become the new host of Modern Gardener. Yeah, let us know any questions you have below and subscribe to our channel. So excited, see ya.